Hi, my name is David Falk, and I'm an Egyptologist and Research Associate at the Vancouver School of Theology. It's been a few weeks now since I've posted a video, and that's because I've been working on two big projects. The first project is I've been completing edits on a book for Hendrickson Publishers on the Ark of the Covenant in its Egyptian context. Now that book's going to be published in December, and there's a, an affiliate link down below which, where you can pre-purchase the book. But the second project I've been working on is a new YouTube series on how to read Egyptian hieroglyphs. Now, reading Egyptian hieroglyphs is a very complicated and often misunderstood thing. So I've decided to put together a YouTube series to teach you how to read hieroglyphs. Now, if you're going to go deep into this subject, I would suggest the uh, recommend three books. The first book is by Collier and Manning, which is a sort of an introduction to Egyptian hieroglyphic language. The second book is a pretty good textbook by James Hawk. And the third book is a reference grammar that's a kind of long in the tooth, but is still really, really useful. And besides those three books, at some point you might want a dictionary too. There's no better dictionary at the moment than Raymond Faulkner's dictionary. Now, if you want to buy those books, you can do so by checking out the affiliate links below in the description. If you, All these books are available on Amazon, and by using the affiliate links below, that helps our channel. The other way you can help our channel is to hit the subscription button. Now, the way YouTube monetization works is you don't get paid a dime until you get a certain number of subscriptions. So the best way you can help our channel is to hit that subscription link. Now, as we get into the, the subject of reading Egyptian hieroglyphs, we have to kind of dispel some misconceptions. The first major misconception is... Egyptian is like English. The Egyptian language is in almost no way like English. The Egyptian alphabet is not even like our own alphabet. It's completely different. It has four H's, two T's, two D's, three S's, and a number of silent characters. And we'll get into how they're pronounced as we get into the later videos. But what we're going to do in this series is we're going to teach you how to read Egyptian properly. We're also going to teach you how to draw some of those hieroglyphs, which for a beginner is a very daunting challenge, but it's really quite simple when you get right down to it. Now, the Egyptian language is broken up into five main phases. The oldest of these phases is what's called Old Egyptian. This was the Egyptian that they used when they were building the, the pyramids. And it was, it was spoken during the Old Kingdom and First Intermediate Period. The second phase of the language is called Middle Egyptian. And that's what we're going to be teaching you primarily in this series, is Middle Egyptian. Middle Egyptian is the foundation for learning Egyptian. And every phase that came after it was based upon this. Now, during the Egyptian New Kingdom, which is the time of King Tut and King Ramses II, you had a different phase of the language called Late Egyptian. The grammar is completely different, but you still need Middle Egyptian in order to understand that. And then after Late Egyptian, you had two other phases called Demotic and Coptic. Those are phases for advanced study, and we won't be touching those here. Now, my purpose in this course is to make Egyptian fun, okay? Now, we're going to try to... This is not going to be like any, any Egyptian course you get at a university. If you go to a university, you get a, lot, you get a textbook, a lot of dry grammar, you got to memorize quickly, and you have to memorize a lot. And that's just so you can become competent at a language very, very quickly. 
we're going to break this course up into very, very small pieces that are easily digestible, that whenever I can, I throw in some corny humor. You know, I just want to make learning this language a joy because it is a joy. Nobody has to learn ancient Egyptian, unless you're an Egyptologist. Then you have to learn Egyptian. But everybody else doesn't have to learn it. So it should be enjoyable. It should be a pleasure, and I want to make it like that. So we're not going to take the traditional approach to teaching Egyptian. We're going to try to take a sort of a more casual language acquisition method where I give you some phrases, I'll give you some uh, little pieces of grammar here when appropriate. I'm not going to overwhelm you with details. I'm not going to give you everything. I'm not going to expect you to drink out of a fire hose like I would if I was teaching this at a university. So I hope you enjoy this new course on learning how to read Egyptian hieroglyphs. Thank you for watching, and to remember to hit the subscription button.